Hi guys, today I have a long video for you. I went to Hobby Lobby with my daughter yesterday and I wanna share everything that I saw. So that was a really pretty light pink gingerbread blanket. I thought that would be so cute for a kid's room. But here I'm just scanning through some of the stuff I saw right as I walked in. Like this beautiful blanket here. I love that, that's such a classic looking uh, Christmas blanket. Guys, check out this massive Grinch Christmas tree. I thought that was so cool. And then this, the stockings were hung. That's perfect if you don't have a mantle to hang stockings. I love that little saying on it. Now you guys, in today's video, I tried to show you everything. So I watched some Hobby Lobby Shop With Me's where people just go around and show a few things, but I wanted to show you guys everything. So this is a long video and I do go pretty quick. I don't just stay on one item for long. But you guys, I noticed these little signs that say Merry and Bright, Merry Christmas. I actually like to turn these little signs into ornaments. So stay tuned to my Decorate With Me. You'll see what I'm talking about. But look, I found this one. I have one that says Happy Birthday Jesus and something else. So I just like to stick those in my tree just to add more, you know? I think it's cute. But here they had a bunch of the end caps with silver, gold, and white whatever color scheme you like. Now I'm wanting to get some gold bottle brush trees this year and I was looking at those but they were huge. So I was like, you know what, never mind, I'll keep looking. But some of these were gorgeous, like this one here. But I wanted to stick with the bottle brush tree so I didn't get that one even though it's so pretty. And guys, I know this isn't Christmas but look at these mirrors. I want that wide one and I want the tall one. So I'm thinking I might do that. Whenever we do our addition, our addition should be done in December, at the beginning of December. We just found out from our contractor. But I want to get this long one for our entryway and then that wide one for above my buffet that's going to be in our dining space. But I just love these mirrors so much. They're the anthropology dupe ones. Now over here, they have that natural wood DIY things that you can decorate. But I like the nutcrackers, just the natural naked wood. They have those ones, and then they had some of those globes that you can do your own globe. How cute are these little boot stocking mugs? Those are so cute. I love those. You guys are going to notice Grinch items just throughout this whole video. It's not all going to be together because they had it pretty much throughout the whole store, but they had so much Grinch decor. And look how adorable these Santa mugs are. If these would have been red, I would have totally picked one up. I mean, I still think they're so cute green, but I don't use a lot of green in my kitchen area. But yeah, those are so cute, and I got the price here for you. I really, really like this cutting board with the Santa mugs. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys like to decorate. If any of these like setups are your favorite, the buffalo check, the more country style, the glam, there's just so many to choose. And then here I noticed this Merry Christmas sign letters and I thought this would be so pretty for my mantle. And I did grab it and I tried it out on my mantle when I got home and I love it. 
So I'll be showing you more of those in a little bit. So yeah, there are some Merry Christmas signs just like thrown throughout all of these aisles, but there is an aisle with just tons of them and in all different colors. So if you guys like the wordy letters like that, then definitely check out Hobby Lobby. And then I was just showing these houses. I have those that actually have that church with the glittery top. This thing was full of nutcrackers. So many to choose from. And then I was showing my daughter this one really pretty one because I am doing her room in nutcrackers, like a little spot in her room this year. I thought that was pretty. She already has a couple. And then here are some pillows. I noticed they didn't have a ton to choose from. I do like those sweater ones, the white and red. Those are just a nice classic pillow. They had a few of the wordy ones. And then here was a little gingerbread section and I did notice this gingerbread village and I had to pick this up, how cute. It comes with the four mini little gingerbread houses. And then here is a little cocoa setup where you have your cocoa, cinnamon, marshmallows and there was a little cocoa caddy. I have one from Hobby Lobby from years ago and they have one just like it out this year. And then over here they had a bunch of gingerbread items. I loved those cinnamon trees, those little peppermint trees, so cute. They had these perfect gingerbread uh, nutcrackers. And then look at this really bright pastel gingerbread house. If you guys like the bright colors, they had the perfect little one there. Yes, every time the snow is and here are a bunch of countdown to Christmas little items. And then this red one and the white one behind it were have been really popular. I've seen a lot of people get those. It's really similar to the Dollar General one I showed recently. Here was another gold display area and I did notice they had these glitzy trees but a little bit smaller than the ones I showed earlier. So I put them in my cart but I later decided not to get them. I felt like they were just a little bit too clam but they're still pretty but for my decor I thought not to get them. And then guys these candlesticks are beautiful. They have a tall one and then a medium sized one and the prices are kind of pricey but remember they're 50% off. But I just think these are gorgeous for all year round. I loved those. I thought this white display was really pretty. They had some gorgeous trees in here. I'm going to give you a close up on a few of them. And I really, really like the crystally ones that light up this year. I did notice the crystally ones are, they light up like an iridescent color. I feel like if they were just silver, I would definitely love those more. But they're still pretty. They of course had a whole wall full of wreaths and garlands, so so many to choose from. This gold one was super glitzy and got my attention. And then you guys, this garland right here looks just like the one that I made last year. So you can buy it for I think $60, $70, but then again it's 50% off. Or you can do it for cheaper by getting Walmart garland and, and then getting the picks from here and filling it in. And then it looks fuller. So that's what I like to do, but if you don't like to mess with all that, just buy them already pre-made. I 
I love those train sets, so I like the idea of having one and putting it around the Christmas tree every year. So I haven't decided on getting one yet, but I do like that idea. And guys, here are a bunch of toppers. So they have those fun Santa ones, the top hat, bunch of stars and angels, so many to choose from. My daughter noticed all these little mini wreaths and I love these for the back of island chairs and on windows, on little hooks. So these are just really nice to have. And then I took you guys down this aisle real quick with all the red items. So of course they have all of the ornaments and the picks and then these garlands. They had quite a few to choose from. They had these cute ornament ones. These would be pretty in a tree or just hung on a mantle. And then I love the wood bead ones here. I don't know about the tassels. What do you guys think? I may, if I would get those, I might take the tassels off, but I don't know. They're still cute. Watch out the rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing this cute. And then of course some more beads and I really like the natural wood, but like I said, I don't love the tassels throughout it. But they had the red, black, white. And I had intended on coming here and getting this garland right here. It was called like antique pewter and I was going to paint it gold. And so that's what I was planning on doing. I got this, that rub and buff antique gold off of Amazon to paint them. But then I was looking here and noticed they already had some gold ones. So this right here was perfect. I love that the bells were little and dainty. So I ended up picking that up and I'm going to probably go over that gold color to make it a little bit deeper gold. But I was so excited to find that and it was a really good price. Over here they have some woodland items. I thought those log cabins were adorable but they had the woodland animals, the deer, the foxes, all of that here. And then they kind of move into more of the country style rustic. So they have like cowbells, antlers, deer, just more of the rustic ornaments. So I just love how they keep it all grouped together like this. Yeah, guys, this day I had so much time. My husband was going to pick up my son from school, so he said, go ahead, I'll get him from school. You go shopping with Ray. So I just took my time, went around the entire store. My daughter was being so good, but she loves to shop with me, so she loved to point out different things like, look, Mom, look at this. So she was an angel the whole time. But yeah, I tried to get everything. So over here, obviously, they have all the gold items. And everything they have for this gold, they most likely have the exact same in rose gold, silver, white. So whatever colors you like. I didn't spend a ton of time on each one because, you know, whichever one color scheme you like, you usually go right to. So I didn't want to just spend a ton of time on one. But I did notice these really bright, glitzy little presents there. Those reminded me of the little disco balls. So cute. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what color scheme you guys like and if you like the glitziness. I love this rose gold, especially for my daughter's room. I was showing her a bunch of these things. Some of the glitzy garlands too would be so pretty for her room. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down And then I was showing her that we have that big poofy ball one already. So some of that can be used all year round, not just for Christmas time. But yeah, some of these are so pretty, like these little 
birds and hearts. And this is where I was excited to go to, all the bottle brush trees. So I'm still loving these and I wanted to get some more. I like those green ones and then I really wanted these black ones. So if you guys remember last year I decorated with black bottle brush trees but these ones have like that frosting on it so they're not super black. So I think those will look so good with the ones I already have. So I picked up some of those and then I was just showing you guys this was a good deal with the whole pack, but I was trying to figure out what those small round ones were. They just kind of looked kind of weird, <laughs> but that is a good deal to get the set of them. And then of course they had the mini trees that you can decorate with. So on the side there you can see the white one. I actually have that one for my daughter's room and the green one. And then here are all the little ornaments you can use to decorate the mini trees. And I ended up finding some really cute ones for my son. So he has the mini green one. And I thought this little transportation set was perfect because that's what his room is decorated in. And the previous years we used the construction trucks which we'll probably still use, but I had to get those for him. And then my daughter's is in the little foods. So I like all the pastel food ones for her since I keep it on her little toy kitchen. Here was one of the village sets. So these have been really popular. I saw those online. They're 150, but 50% 50 off. And I'm gonna be showing you another village set that I'm actually getting for my birthday. My mom picked it up for me for my birthday. So I'm really grateful and excited for it. My birthday's not till November, but she got it for me because she knows those will probably go soon. They've been super popular. Here were some cute Christmas trees. I didn't spend a lot of time on them, but I wanted to show you my absolute favorite tree. You guys, this is gorgeous. I'm so into the flocking look, but this is like heavy flocked. This looks like a tree you would see out in the woods, just full of snow, just absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think of this tree? And then over here are a bunch of different wood-like trees. I really want to pick up another one of those wood spindly ones because I had one and my kids actually broke it. But that was because I left it down on our mantle or down on our hearth so the kids would always play with it. And then of course they have the whole aisle of ornaments. I didn't take you guys through all those because there's just way too many. Over here they had an end cap with a lot of red birds, like cardinals, just red decorative birds that were really cute. And then an aisle of ornaments and then I brought you to an aisle of all the picks. So I definitely went through and showed you a lot of picks that I saw and liked. These are just so perfect to get to fill vases, little areas that you have with regular greenery. You can switch out with all of these to give you a winter look. So I just pulled out some that I liked a lot to show you. I actually went down this aisle too to get some that I was actually in search of. There's some that I pick up every year. They're a classic pick. And I'm always afraid that they're going to stop selling them, but every year they come out with them. So I'll show you in just a minute what ones I'm talking about. But I did notice these gold bell ones. These were really cool. I don't really know where I would put those, but the color is perfect. It's that antique gold that I love. And guys, these are the picks that I was talking about. They look just like that garland I showed you earlier, but I stick these in the Walmart garlands that I get that are flocked, and it makes the most gorgeous, gorgeous garland. And you guys, I apologize if my voice is getting scratchy. This is a long video, and it's a lot of docking. 
But yeah, some of these picks are so fun to stick in a Christmas tree, make it really, really fun. And then those looked really pretty with the frosted nuts. My daughter was like, look, mommy, they're gold fireworks. She loved those. I'm like, yeah, they do look like fireworks. And then I noticed they had some silver ones and pointed those out to her too. I really like this one with the little red bulbs. If you kind of pull it apart a little bit and like fluff it out, it would be gorgeous. And then you can't go wrong with these flocked pine cones. Those are really nice. And guys, look at that little owl. That was kind of random. Over here was their candle section. They had a bunch to choose from. I noticed these right here. I've seen people make advent calendars out of those. They could be used for so many things, but I really like those. They just look so nice and natural in your Christmas decor. And then here was a ton of ribbon. They had like a whole aisle full of it. And then I noticed these little peppermint tea light candles and peppermint tapered candles. So those were super cute and festive. And then I of course needed to pick up some of these Scentsy sticks. Oh, and then here is the village set that I was talking about. So my mom was going to get me that top one, which I did want, but then we noticed the one down below with the houses that are a little bit bigger. And that's the one that I ended up choosing. So she got that for me for my birthday. So I'm so grateful. I really liked these black trees. They have that like fuzzy material on them. And then over here they had another tree that had that same fuzziness as those stockings I told you. And then they have some presents, like faux presents with that same material I'll show you in a minute. And look at that naughty and nice thing at the top with the beads. It's so cute. You could put that in a kid's room and be perfect. My daughter was like, look mom, there's a fruit tree. So that was cute with all the fruit on it. And just a lot more trees over here. And then I came up to some reindeer over here after these signs. But these were the signs I was telling you about. They had every color in the Merry Christmas signs. But yeah, these are the reindeer. They had all different kinds. And then, of course, I liked the black ones that I'm going to be showing you in a second. I really like the gold ones as well. Oh, holy night, the stars brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. And then here are the faux gifts that look so cute to put under your trees. And then here is that fuzzy material I was showing you earlier. So you could get all the items and have it all match. It looks so cute. And then you guys, they had all of that set up for nutcrackers and they still had all of these in an aisle. So I was pointing to the one we already have. And then these little stubby ones were so cute. They also had a bunch of snowmen over here all together that you could choose from. And then more Grinch items. So I wanted to go up and see how much that huge stuffed animal was or that stuffed head pillow, I should say. And I believe it was $80, but then you have the 50% off. But I just know my son would love that. But I don't know, it's still pretty pricey. The night. Here were some yard stakes and outdoor signs. Oh, no. And this was my favorite aisle, the nativity scenes, nativity sets. 
These were so nice. I was actually in search of one of these and I picked it up. I'm not going to tell you which one because I'm going to do a haul video of all the Christmas stuff I pick up. So you guys are probably getting an idea of some of the things I'm already getting. But yeah, there's one of these sets that I loved that I ended up picking up. Slit by light, I start sweetly gleaming. Here come the wise men from Orient land. The king of kings laid us lowly manger in all our I just love all of these sayings and signs up there. And then this one reminds me a lot of the Dollar General one I got last year because I painted it all black and stuck it on the brown holder. So I thought that was cool. And that one was longer. It said it was 30 inches. And then here are the signs with all of the cute sayings. I just love this section so much. The night. When Christ was born. Oh, night. I noticed they had this felt countdown with the star that you could put in each day. This would be so cute for a kid's room and I was really thinking of getting it for my son's room so I may go back for that but I just thought that was such a sweet countdown. And then over here they had a bunch of the lanterns and globes that were filled with all of the cute Christmas things. Here were some more signs, so I thought the hot cocoa bar ones were really cute and some of these were just really nice and classic like the tree farm one and the hot cocoa ones, so cute. I did notice they had all of these red ladders, so they had three different sizes. These would be so cute to put in a bathroom and to hang like a bathroom towel on it. I have one just like that, but it's brown. So I think it'd be cute to switch it out for, you know, Christmas time. And then I did point out that I do have this sign, Oh Holy Night. I've had it for a couple years and I still love it. Over here they had a bell section. So I really liked those gold hanging bells. I actually just bought some from Amazon that were bigger. But if I didn't get those, I would have totally got those cold ones there. And then guys, this end cap was nice. It came with the tear trays and then everything that you would need to decorate a tear tray for Christmas. So, so many of these cute little signs. Guys, how cute is this Mr. and Miss Claus little salt and pepper shakers? And then this wood cutting board was beautiful. I would love to get that and stack it up and use that as the core in my kitchen. And then these little hot chocolate salt and pepper shakers, I thought it was so cute how they had the little ice in it. And that little gingerbread platter was a glass one. It was really nice. And then I thought this little hot cocoa bomb book would be cute to display on my cookbook stand for the holidays and to even use the recipes.
They had some really beautiful canvas paintings like this winter scene. I thought it was really pretty with the trees on the sides of it. And then here were some more that I saw. And I love the idea of getting a record player. I saw that they had that as we were checking out. But guys, look at my daughter. She's covered in decorations. She thought it was funny. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a long one, but you guys definitely need to hit up Hobby Lobby. They have so many amazing things. And I got so much for so cheap since it's all 50% off. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day.